Hi there, this is Bill and this is a demonstration of progress regarding a window family which I have made. It is a timber window, as you can see it extends out either side with the sill and it's got facings. Uh, the essential thing about this one is that it is sensitive to the thickness of the wall. So if you have a thicker wall, for instance that, that wall there at the moment is a generic 100 frame. So if we change that to say 200 nominal, notice that that all expands to fit so that your, your sill now looks slightly different to, to what it did before. Other things that it does do is obviously you can click on there and edit the type. You've got various things like the height. For instance, you want to make the height say I don't know, 1200. You just make it so. And there it is, 1200. So if we look at it from the north, it's 1200. And if you want to change the width, same deal. Uh, just click on it and change the head height, edit type, width, so we make it uh, 1200 wide. This is just for an awning window, um, and might I say <coughs> thanks to uh, Faris Nouri for his videos which I've used the idea behind in doing this, the windows he drew was slightly simpler than this one. This one is the full nine yards. It's got weather grooves. It's got all the little things for the felt and everything like that. This little groove here. It's it's all there. Revit is not terribly nice about displaying these sort of things. I I find, and I would probably have to go back into them into the family and change things. So. If for instance, if I wanted to make the, as, as it prints out, it looks out pretty terrible at 1 to 50. So that's something that could be changed easily enough. Um, sectional view. It's the sash there. Got an 18 millimeter piece of glass in there. I have not put in the beading for the glass. Um, I suppose you could say that if it was a commercial program, you'd you'd want to see those beads in there. But for now, it's been a snuff of a struggle to get this far. Um, what else does it do? It does materials. Okay, so you can click on it. Say, for instance, you didn't want that sill material. See, at the moment, I've got it set at B window sill set it on ductile. So, say for instance, I chose uh, something a little bit more nicer. Finish white. And just hit that and hit that, and job done. Um, these this frame is is a separate family. Or it's like a nested family in the actual family of the window itself. And as such, it's got a certain size sashes which you can't change. However, these facings here, uh, you can change. So, for instance, you wanted to change this width of the facings. See, so at the moment, it's set to one. That's set to ninety. So we said one hundred and twenty, and go OK. Now you've got one twenty wide. And see these dimensions automatically up to date. Update, of course. Well, thanks for watching.